Welcome back to the third video of uh, the series for product dispensing. This is week seven video product dispensing. Um, so with this video, we're going to quickly just talk about um, counting the medications. So for those that have been in pharmacy, uh, you know this already. Um, but for those that haven't, uh, when you go to actually count, I just want to make sure that everybody knows uh, that we are um, counting by five. So um, we're actually going to count by fives. Um, so you've got, you'll use a tray uh, like this where you put the pills on it. Um, here you can see the pills um, and then you have a spatula and so you just kind of grab five tablets and slide them into the trough um, and when you reach the number that you're counted you flip the uh, flip the little window down and uh, pour um, pour them in the vial um, so that's counting by fives is, is just something that uh, makes things go a little bit quicker and then also I want to cover uh, double counting so um, when to double count medications uh, you know, there's sometimes with, uh, with medications that are controlled medications um, that we want to make sure that we're not off um, on our counting. So um, with a double count, you count through any remaining tablets, put them back in the stock bottle, uh, then you'd re-pour out the, the content of what you just counted and double count it. So for controlled prescriptions, it's good to do that just to make sure uh, that our counts right, um, as well as uh, difficult patients. So there are some patients uh, that may return uh, to the pharmacy and say that they've been shorted. Um, if if patients do this frequently, it's good to double count their medications just so you can verify for yourself um, that they have been double counted for that patient. So um, so that's just a brief little uh, tidbit about counting. Um, so now we're gonna to look at um, once we do count a medication, um, you know what are we putting those in? So, so here I've got uh, some pictures of different size vials. Um, vials, vial size, uh, we size them based on uh, dram is is the sizing of, of vial bottles. Um, so, you know, a little a little bottle uh, like this one right here. Is, is going to be an 8 dram uh, vial um, and then you have a 12 dram vial which is a little bit taller uh, 16 uh, is, is even taller so the 12 and the 16 are the same uh, same kind of circumference size uh, same diameter but they're gonna the 16 is just gonna be longer than the 12 um, and then we have um, some wider bottles uh, wider at the opening and so this one right here is a 20 dram vial um, even wider still then is a 30 dram vial um, about the same width then is a 40 uh, but it's just taller and then the tallest is a 60 so um, you'll you may see this when you're on Ippy or Appy um, when you're ordering because you have to you know make sure you're stocked on these and getting mints um, and uh, one of the things you'll be able to do is fill the vial bins for um, for those working uh, to make sure that you have enough bottles to fill what you need for prescriptions. So um, then with the uh, with the vials what we're going to have um, is is lids on the vial. So, so this picture right here just kind of shows you again um, side by side uh, those different uh, vial sizes. Um, but then we've got the, the cap that's going to go on top of, of our vial. So um, you can see some different uh, caps. Uh, this cap is, uh, so this cap over here on the far right is, uh, is going to be a, a child proof. Uh, you have to push down and twist to get this cap to come off. Um, same with this, this cap right here. You have to push, this is a child protective cap. Um, you have to push down and twist to get it to come off. But with this cap, um, there's also, if you flip it over, um, it can screw onto the top inside this bottle and, and be a, uh, an easy off for people that may have arthritis or difficulty getting their caps off. Um, as well as then, uh, you see here, this cap is an is a easy off child. So this, there's no twisting. Uh, the top just pops right off and, 
and is open. So um, these are okay. Patients will request to have easy off. Um, if there is no request, if they've not requested that, though by law they have to have a, uh, a child protective cap because uh, we, we don't want children to be getting into medications and um, getting into those medications. And for, for patients um, that, that request easy off, just making sure that they know to keep uh, their bottles away from children because uh, it'll make it a lot easier for unintended people to get into medications. Um, so then uh, within the pharmacy we have those vials where we're putting uh, pills but then I also wanted to mention um, we we have uh, bottles as well that we'll put liquid dosage forms in uh, and so um, these bottles come in in ounces um, so you'll have if you can see on this one uh, let me get a different color here um, what you see on this vial here you got a Roman numeral kind of two um, two eyes side by side uh, these ounces so this is going to be a two ounce a two ounce bottle um, or 60 mls um, because each ounce is 30 ml so two ounces is going to be 60 mls um, and then so we have we have different size bottles for liquid dosage forms um, up to um, 12 ounce bottles um, here's a four four ounce bottle a six ounce bottle eight ounce bottle and a, a 12 ounce bottle so uh, four six eight and twelve um, and so that um, what's nice about these bottles then here on the side of these bottles there's actually um, what we use for measuring the the milliliter quantity um, so so you've got 30 a 40 mark a 50 mark um, and then a line up here for your 60 mark um, so you know how much um, liquid to put in there um, if it's less than the full amount um, and that's the same with with each of these different bottles um, so those are bottles for for liquid liquid dosage forms um, and then the last thing or well, the second to last thing I want to talk about in this video is uh, the labeling and just making sure that our prescription labeling is um, looks good so presentation is important we don't want these labels uh, wiper jaw and sideways uh, we don't want a lot of wrinkles through or them to be torn um, we we want them to be smooth uh, lined up um, and not crooked so you can see these are some good uh, labels on uh, vials and, and again that's just gonna make somebody question if they get a bottle and the labels all uh, sideways and and crinkled and um, that we want it to be pharmaceutically elegant uh, we would say so um, that is something to look for there are also times um, not so much with these vials but if we uh, if we have say a um, a bottle from the from the manufacturer where we're just going to uh, we've got a box of it's a Zithromax Z pack it comes in a box and we're gonna put a label on that um, one of the things that you want to do um, with that is put uh, tape on underneath it um, so that when you stick this label to a box um, if the patient would uh, would want to not come pick that up or wouldn't be able to afford it um, you can peel that off without tearing the box up so that with the next patient you go to use it for um, it's it's a, a new looking box um, so that's just a, a little side caveat with uh, with stock bottles is to put tape down and then put the label um, down on top of the tape just to make sure if you need to get that off for any reason that you can do it without leaving the sticky uh, back of the uh, prescription label um, as well as um, say that we have a a, uh, a bottle of lotion or a bottle of shampoo um, that somebody's going to be using around water um, we may want to put tape on top of a label um, to cover it and make it more waterproof um, so that it doesn't you know start to dissolve and fall off and get all grimy uh, from the, uh, the the use of water so um, that's just some little notes about uh, 
bottles and, and labeling those bottles. And then the last thing that I want to talk about are auxiliary labels. Um, so we have auxiliary labels, sometimes referred to as augs labels. And these are just little labels um, that have diff additional information uh, for the patient. So clinically relevant. Uh, so eye drops, you know, we're going we're gonna to want to say uh, for the eyes. Uh, might be good to put on there just so that uh, patients are aware of it. Or if we have a medication that's going to make the patient dizzy, um, you know, putting an auxiliary label on top of counseling that patient, we may want to uh, just put a sticker on there to remind them of the, the big points. Um, big things with auxiliary labels is uh, don't overdo it. So if, uh, if we tried to stick all of these auxiliary labels onto uh, to somebody's bottle, um, we're probably not going to be able to communicate very much information. So we really want to just hit the highlights. Um, so if a, if a medication is going to upset the stomach um, and we want to take a food, you know, that's a good auxiliary label to put on there. Um, and you can see there's different uh, types or styles of take with food. Um, your pharmacy will probably only have one. Um, but we may want the patient to take with water. If they're on antibiotic, we want to take them with water um, or avoiding sun. Um, so, you know, there's, there's just important things that we would want to put a shake well for, for a suspension. Um, so again, those are auxiliary labels. We'll have some activities in lab to uh, give you some experience and, and thought with that. Um, but this concludes the, uh, the third video uh, for PPD-1 week 7 product dispensing.